Hello, this is Max from Arrowhertz, and today we're going to be doing some terrain painting. I'm going to pull out two of the pieces of terrain we're working on today, or three, depending on how you look at it. The one we have on the left here is a hill with the Zinch ability, or sorry, the Zinch uh, mark burnt into the ground, or what will be burnt into the ground. Doing this by just making a normal hill. And then uh, with using, I think I used a piece of sprue, just scoring the symbol into into the, the foam, and then not applying glue and sand onto those spots. And the other piece that we'll be working on today be these Necron Necron terrain pieces. Um, I'll, I'll let you name them. I have no idea what to name them. But they're essentially just a bump. And then once again with the scoring technique, I used a paper clip. And uh, I put I put the the symbol that's on the Necron warrior chest. And painting those up. You can just put those on on a battlefield and they'll just make it look more Necrony. All right, well, let's get this started. Okay. So when painting, there's a few things you're gonna want to bring. One, when you're just painting terrain, not a model, you're just gonna wanna bring some old brushes, some, some clunkers, let's just say. You know, nothing fancy or small. You don't wanna get them ruined on the sand or anything like that, so no bother bringing green unless you're doing fine details. Second, this might be obvious, but you're going to want to bring some water to wash off your brushes. A palette for mixing. I just, I'm just a lid, a plastic lid will work nice. Anything that's washable uh, that you don't care about pretty much will work nice. I just used for something from my, for my cat, cat litter box. And then you're going to want some paper towel to wash off your brush. Or to wipe your brush off onto. So... Let's start with the small things. So with these, you're going to start off with just a, a black paint. I'm just taking a standard acrylic paint from a paint set. Once again, nothing fancy. You don't want to be using the expensive paints on just a simple piece of terrain. So you just Squeeze it out onto your palette. Be a little bit generous. And sometimes you're going to want to add a little bit of water, depending on what kind of paint you'll be using. This one I have here is kind of pasty. So you just dip your brush into the water a little bit. And just kind of brush that next to the paint make a little bit of a puddle and then just brush your paint into it and it'll work fine. So you just take the piece, start painting it. Now, because it's this is made of foam, it absorbs the paint, so you need to use quite a bit. The water will help to spread the paint. But don't add too much water, because thinning out the paint will... If you thin it out too much, it will show the uh, the color of the foam if you're using pink foam or blue foam. It'll show that underneath the uh, underneath your layer of paint that you're adding. So make sure to try to cover the the entire thing. 
you don't want to make sure you get it all black. The bottom side, you can leave that because it's not going to be showing. Also, because you're going to need to have a part to put it down, and if it's wet paint on one side of it, well, it'll stick to whatever you put it to. So in this case, I'm going to be putting it on the paper, so it'll just rip off the paint in the paper. Let's take your other bump, shredding this paint. I'm just going to start slapping it on now, just quickly. Seems to work better that way. Adding water to the paint will also help it sink into the cracks of the details of whatever symbol you add into the, the Necron bump. And you can paint these however you want. You can paint them metallic, kind of like your army. But I was going to go with painting it a dark green with green highlights, kind of like the, the crystals that used to appear all the time with the, uh, in the old Necron Codex. Alright, so we have those both at their base coat. You gotta make sure with foam that you have to paint it by hand with, with acrylic paint. If you can't spray paint it or else the, uh, the, the spray paint will, will melt the foam and distort it and you don't want that for, for something like this that you've put work and detail into.